Good morning, everyone. Our opening hymn is Out of the Glory and Praise, which is the larger book. Number 296. 296 on Jordan's Bank. On Jordan's bank the Baptist cry announces that the Lord is nigh. Awake and hearken, for he brings glad tidings of the King of kings. Then cleanse me every soul from sin, make straight the way of God within. And let each heart prepare a home where such a mighty guest may come. We hail you as our Savior, Lord, our refuge and our great reward. Without your grace we waste away like flowers that wither and decay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. On this feast of the real Santa Claus, St. Nicholas, we ask his intercession as we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Eddie Bamagigo and Wanda Krauchuk. For the times we fail to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are our Emmanuel, a God who walks with us. Christ, have mercy. You are our Messiah and Lord, leading us to the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. We humbly implore your mercy, Lord. Protect us in all dangers through the prayers of the Bishop St. Nicholas, that the way of salvation may lie open before us through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad. The desert shall rejoice and blossom. Like the crocus, it shall blossom abundantly and rejoice with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it, the majesty of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who are of a fearful heart, be strong, do not fear. Here is your God. He will come with vengeance, with terrible recompense. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer and the tongue of the speechless sing for joy. For waters shall break forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool and the thirsty ground springs of water. The haunt of jackals shall become a swamp and grass shall become reeds and rushes. A highway shall be there and it shall be called the holy way. The unclean shall not travel on it, but it shall be for God's people no traveller, not even fools, shall go astray. No lion shall be there, nor shall any ravenous beast come upon it. They shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there, and the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sighing, shall flee away. The word of the Lord. God. Our God will come to save us. Our God will come to save us. Let me hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace to his people. 
Surely his salvation is at hand for those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Our God shall come to save us. Steadfast love and faithfulness will meet. Righteousness and peace will kiss each other. Faithfulness will spring up from the ground and righteousness will look down from the sky. Our God will come to save us. The Lord will give what is good and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness will go before him and will make a path for his steps. Our God will come to save us. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Behold, the King will come, the Lord of earth, and he will set us free. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. One day, while Jesus was teaching, the Pharisees and the teachers of the law were sitting nearby. They had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and from Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was with Jesus to heal. Just then, some men came, carrying a man who was paralyzed on a bed. They were trying to bring him in and lay him before Jesus, but finding no way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and let him down with his bed through the tiles into the middle of the crowd and in front of Jesus. When he saw their faith, he said, Friend, your sins are forgiven you. Then the scribes and the Pharisees began to question, Who is this who is speaking blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God alone? When Jesus perceived their questioning, he answered them, Why do you raise such questions in your hearts? Which is easier? to say, your sins are forgiven you, or to say, stand up and walk. But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, Jesus said to the one who was paralyzed, I say to you, stand up and take your bed and go to your home. Immediately the man stood up before them, took what he had been lying on, and went to his home glorifying God. Amazement seized all of them. And they glorified God and were filled with awe, saying, We have seen strange things today. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. Holy Mother Church gives us another powerful psalm to reflect upon today. Our God will come to save us. This idea of redemption, the Messiah, and our Savior. In the first reading from Isaiah, we hear of the many names that God will have, that the Savior is to come and to bring the polar opposites. The animals that normally hunt each other shall be friends, enemies will speak together, peace shall reign, everlasting joy is to be had. These are beautiful symbols of hope for us to reflect upon and to realize that indeed God's desire is to come and save us. And so we anticipate his second coming with great joy, and we thank him for his first coming, for salvation is at hand. And so as we celebrate the feast of the Bishop St. Nicholas, who continued to bring joy to those who are most in need, that's where we get the idea of Santa Claus from. Indeed, St. Nicholas does exist, just in a very different way instead of Rudolph and all of that but rather the importance of caring for the needs of the people around us. And through the intercession of St. Nicholas in this holy season, may we continue to remind ourselves not only of the joy of the season that we wish to receive ourselves, but that we are to pass it on to others as well. St. Nicholas, pray for us. Let us join our hearts and minds as we offer to God these petitions. Our response is, Come, Lord Jesus. 
For leaders of the church, may the Lord continue to strengthen them in their efforts to help the people of God grow in faith, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. Let us pray for elected officials. May God grant them fortitude in fighting for what is right and just and service to their constituents, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. Let us pray for all who suffer as a result of violence or abuse of any kind. May God's healing love comfort and support them, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. Let us pray for all who've asked for our prayers, that just as in the gospel, that Jesus, the divine physician, may heal them of mind, body, and spirit, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. And let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Eddie and Wanda, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May they be welcomed into the heavenly banquet of God forever, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. And for all the intentions we verbalize to God from the silence of our hearts. God of mercy, we bring these prayers before you. We ask that you answer them according to your most holy will. Through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, on the offerings we set upon this sacred altar on the feast day of St. Nicholas, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name. Through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we now celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servants, Eddie and Wanda, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with St. Nicholas, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen.
May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. 
Renewed by these sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of St. Nicholas, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Say, Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption, and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection, so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has ended. Our Advent journey continues. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. To heal the sick, stretch out your hand and bid the fallen sinner stand. Shine forth and let your light restore Earth's own true loveliness once more. To God the Son all glory be, whose advent set your people free, whom with the Father we adore, and Holy Spirit evermore. God bless you. Have a good day.